happy new moon in Capricorn. I'm coming on to share with you the cards that I got um, for this new moon in Capricorn, but also our winter solstice. So just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> new moon in Capricorn from the Moonology deck. This one uh, states that your hard work is paying off, right? And when I saw this, I was like, well, the goat has a tail, so he looks like a seahorse <laughs> in a sense, too, which is kind of interesting. Um, and so I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to go a little intuitive with this, because when I looked at the spread, I was like, oh, Capricorn is an earth sign. You know, it's about grounding, getting back to who we are, you know. Um, but I'll get to that. So let's read a little bit. It says, first and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your work life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. And of course, we are in a new moon phase, right? So that means we're planting our seeds of intention in the dark. Because the moon is not full and bright, it's dark. Um, you can't see it, but it's there. Just like this one. Okay? So, uh, if you are unhappy in your current job, this is a time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. But whatever your question is, whether it's work-related or otherwise, a new plan, right? This is about the new new. Um, with the coming of this uh, the end of our year, we're getting ready to go into a new year. So it's a new cycle, right? Um, so it's time to look at what we always do at the end of the year is our strategy for the next year, the upcoming year, and maybe beyond that, right? So um, let's look at the next 12 to even five years of our lives and see what we can dispose of and what new things we can bring in. And when I say dispose, it's not necessarily to throw it away, but maybe just to put it to the side because it may not serve your highest purpose moving forward right now. It doesn't mean that you can't revisit it later on, okay? So the attunement to this new moon is make a proper plan and execute it well. And I've been getting prompted to plan and focus you know, um, for quite a while. So I think that's that's part of this energy. Um, so then I went to our energy oracle cards and adjacent possibilities popped out. I love this card. It comes out at least two or three times a year, at least four times a year, I would say, in each quarter, just to remind us that we have way more options than what we see in front of us, right? Um, so I'm going to read it a little bit. And I love the combination of two and four or six. <laughs> it's many unconsidered options, right? So it's things that we haven't considered yet. But every moment gives us an option to open a different door and take a different course in life, right? So that speaks to the new, the new moon. Once again, it just brings us right back full circle to the new moon and the energy of the full moon. So um, we can look, we can take a, a a more expansive look at what's going on around us and add that newness to it, right? Because there's so many possibilities. And for real, when you look at it, it's like, what's behind door number one? What's behind door number two? What's behind door number three? All the options are good. None of them are bad, but what's best for you, right? What's the best path and the best choice for you that matches and integrates with your ideas and your goals and your vision for how you're moving forward during this winter solstice and this new moon in Capricorn that's gonna take us into the new year, okay? So I love adjacent possibilities. Um, I think it also asks us to be adaptable and flexible in our thinking as well. And we, we can tend to be a little rigid, but we can be a little more adaptable. So number one, earth magic. Of course that came out to match the new moon in Capricorn because Capricorn is indeed an earth sign. The concepts of this is being grounded in nature, the quiet dark place where all things begin. So planting your seeds, right? 
Don't forget you're planting your seeds in this new moon, which is dark, okay? Where essence is first ignited before manifestation, knowing you are part of the earth and she is a part of you, right? So, uh, it says earth magic speaks to the intrinsic relationship that you and all living things have with the consciousness of earth, also known as Gaia, okay, or Pachamama, or uh, Asasaya, right? Um, imagine the oak tree that begins its journey as an acorn gathering all the life force energy it needs from the earth so it can sprout up from the ground and become this grand tree. So sometimes we have to get still and quiet, okay? We have to get grounded. We have to sit like this Buddha back here I painted and just get quiet and still and listen to the messages that are coming forward to help push us and pro propel us into the new energy that's coming forward for us, right? So um, it says great magic is germinating underground, working its way to the surface. So deliver to deliver more blessings than you could imagine. So let it happen. Like be flexible, be adaptable, right? So then the goddesses wanted to come through and speak. And of course, Isis came through because she's begging us to get grounded and go back within, right? She's saying our roots upon this planet are strong and deep. See? <laughs> okay. And some of the roots have anchored you in past memories from far away times. These roots have anchored you so deeply, in fact, that you are paralyzed when it comes to moving forward. Okay? Wow. That's interesting. I've called your attention to this condition so that you may unearth and un uproot past memories. Sometimes you bury those memories to shield yourself from psychic pain or embarrassment. So you won't remember those awkward moments when life tested you to your maximum, right? But now it's time to dig deep, pull back up that those memories and heal them before this new year. Create a new you, right? The past you, it's not gone, it's still there, but you don't have to dwell in it. It's time to move forward into the newness of you. Let go of whatever's holding you back in the past. Use the, the the tools from the past, Sankofa, to move you forward, okay? Into some new energy. Some ways of doing this, you can get a past life aggress um, regression to gain insights and answers. Um, you can uh, meditate, right? You can say mantras, okay? But however you choose to do it, lean on the energy of moving forward into the new. Don't dwell in the past. Use it as a tool to move forward. Okay, that's Sankofa, right? So then moon magic, of course, I didn't flip it, so I don't know what it says, but I'm, let's see. I accept renewal and <laughs> delight in fresh starts, new moon. Look at that. Man, spirit be knowing. <laughs> you can't make this shift up at all, okay? So that's our prompt. That's our affirmation prompt. I accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. New moon. Okay? And then your manifestation abundance card, which you can get from www.happylightbeing.com. These are the cards I created. I invite unlimited abundance in my life. Don't we all? I thank you so much for just taking time to listen to me today out of your busy schedule of holiday shopping and well wishes and planning and just enjoying time with your family and friends and being being cold or hot wherever you are in the world. <laughs> I thank you so much for just taking time to sit with me and listen to the messages coming through from spirit. Take time to do what makes you so happy. Happy New You. All right. Be happy, be light, be loved. Don't forget to visit my website. Namaste. Me, Celia.